All right. Hello, environmental science. This is Mr. S, and today we're talking about survivorship curves. So um, these are the three different types of survivorship curve that we'll be talking about. Uh, type 1, type 2, and type 3. And these correspond really closely to what we already learned with R and K selected species. So um, you can see that trees have very little species that survive early in life. Um, and then they tend to survive a lot more once they've gotten older. They survive a lot better. So a lot of them die due to sunlight not getting in. Um, lack of water, they wait for the perfect circumstances, and a lot of them don't make it. Whereas humans, um, we live, most of us live as young babies, um, and then once we hit a certain age, then almost everybody um, doesn't continue. So um, that, would, that would be represented here. And then birds their li and rodents um, and other animals, their lives are so predictable all the time that it's kind of constant. They don't really make it to a certain age. They're not more stable as they get older. They're um, dying consistently as they go. So remember that this human would be like a K and this tree would be like a R selected species and the bird would be somewhere in between. Okay, and the objectives, essential knowledges and skills for today um, we want to be able to explain survivorship curves. Um, and a, the essential knowledge is that a survivorship curve is a line that displays the re relative survival rates of a cohort, a group of individuals of the same age in a population from birth to the maximum age reached by any one cohort member. There are type 1, type 2, and type 3 curves. And survivorship curves with diff curves differ for k selected and r selected species with k selected species typically following a type 1 or type 2 curve and r selected species following a type 3 curve so kind of what i just talked about before and then at the end you're going to be practicing a um, data analysis skill by explaining patterns and trends in data Okay, so like I said, a survivorship curve is a line that shows survival rate of um, a cohort or a group of the same age individuals in a population from birth to death. So the faster the drop in line is the quicker the die-offs of individuals. Slower the drop in line, the longer average lifespan. So you can see that like a whale it lives really old and gradually they start to die of old age. Chipmunks, they kind of die um, periodically throughout, whether their babies are older. And then just like the tree, these dandelions, a lot of them die when they're really young, and then um, their survival kind of tapers out here, like they get to a certain age, and then that's it. That's as old as they get. Um, and these are all relative to what the age will be of the animal. So squirrels don't live very long, but this is relative to how long they live and how often, what ages they die at. Same with the whale. They live for a really long time, but this is showing um, relative to their long lifespan. Um, when do they survive based on that? All right, and type one, type two, and type three survivorship curves. Um, for type one, like we said, that's high survivorship early in life due to high parental care. High survivorship in middle life due to large size and defensive behavior. And rapid decrease in survivorship in late life as old age sets in. Type two, steadily decreasing survivorship throughout life. Uh, like the squirrels and the birds. And type three, like our selected insects and animals like that. Um, fish and plants, they have high mortality or low survivorship early in life due to little to no parental care. Few make it to the middle of life. There's a slow and steady decline in survivorship in the middle of life. Even fewer make it to adulthood. 
and there's a slow decline in survivorship in old age. So insects, fish, and plants. So once they do make it to be in middle age, then there's a slow decline to be being old. They can make it for a long while. Um, but it's the biggest thing is most of the, almost all of them don't make it to be older. Um, type one, K selected, remember, and type three, R selected. All right, and a little bit about carrying capacity, although we're gonna get into it in the next subject. Um, this is determined by the biotic potential or the maximum reproductive rate of a population in ideal conditions. So how many children can they have compared to how many organisms die? And also environmental resistance. So as population reach it, reaches carrying capacity, Growth, the growth rate decreases because resources become more scarce among other factors. So what happens to mortality and what happens to fecundity? Um, these are, this would be an organism that just exploded over time. We call this exponential growth when it's just constantly going up. And this would be a population size that reaches a carrying capacity where it goes up exponentially and then eventually goes down. So this where the line levels out is the carrying capacity. And these are some terms to know. Again, we're going to go over this in the next unit, but um, there's exponential growth. It overshoots what it, the environment is capable of, of holding, and then it um, oscillates. So the population will spike due to changes in the environment or seasons, and then go back down again. Okay, and um, we're going to try a free response question um, to look at this graph, and you're going to describe the trend in survivorship shown in this graph and justify which type of survivorship curve these data represent. So that will be in the Nearpod on the next question.